Hello there, Allegheny banjo students. Mr. Jones here. Going to have a little banjo fun in the key of D. We've been in the D tuning for a while, and I think you're getting uh, you're comfortable at playing the chords in the key of D. But we're going to keep working on that with an easy song here. And we're going to keep working on something called uh, an arpeggio, which is just the notes of a chord played one at a time. So first of all, I'm going to just do a, a progression of the little song, and we're going to strum it with a thumb strum. Just down toward the ground, this thumb strum on the D chord. And just think about when you play your chords, you know, think about your left hand. What uh, what uh, frets are you mashing down with which fingers? You know, kind of keep that in mind. So you might want to describe it to a friend sometime. They might bring a banjo, you know, they might be on the on the session or something want to play a chord. They don't know it, and you can tell them how to do it. So a D chord has your second fret on the first string and your second finger. And keep in mind, you could use different fingers sometimes, depending on you know what's coming up next or where you're coming from. So I'm using my second finger on the D chord, and this is kind of strum that nice and slow, nice thumb strum. And then we're gonna go to the main partner chord. I'm gonna jump over to the second string with the second fret and my second finger and get the low bass with my first finger. An A chord, right? So let's do that again, D chord. One finger, second fret, first string, A chord, the second fret, second string, and the low string, fourth string, second fret. And look at my left hand. We've been working about, uh, you know, working on our left hand position. So my thumb's in the back, so I can push with it. My wrist is kind of relaxed and dangling, you might say. So think about your hand position. And remember, you can really swivel around. You got kind of a swivel there, built in swivel on your uh, wrist there. So each hand. So pretty amazing what the body can do. So there's my D chord. I'm doing four strums to the A chord. And now I'm going to go to a G chord. See if you remember how to do a G chord. Which string, which fingers, and which fret. Let you think about that for a second. I think you might be getting it. Third fret, first string, and I'm using my third finger as a dot there, which helps us. And then the third string, we're skipping a string, get the first finger. So you got a little slanted position. Three on the first string with my third finger. Two on the third string with my first finger. And that's the, the chord, if you were singing something like Oh Susanna or Amen, that's the four chord. And let's think about the numbers too, because we've talked about that. The one chord would be D, we're in the key of D. The A chord would be the five chord, the main partner. And then I'm going to go to the four chord, which would be the G chord, and back to D. That's going to be the progression of our song. It, it, it keeps going, it's the one chord, to the A chord, the five chord. And then we'll do the big finish is going to be the four chord to the five chord, the A, and the one. So the song I've got in mind is an old song. It's been around a long time. It's just kind of a little fun for kids to sing and just uh, just a fun song all around. It's just a, where's my little dog gone? Now, you may have heard it. It's just a where, oh, where a chord has my little dog gone to the G, oh, where to the A, oh, where. Can he be back to the D? Hang there a minute. With his tail cut short, the five chord A, and his ear cut long, the four chord G. Oh, where to the A? Oh, where can he be? One more time. This time we can try it with our right hand, changing up a little bit. We got our left hand working. Now you can start thinking of the right hand. I'm going to just do a. Uh, for it's a waltz, so one, two, three, one, two, three. You might hear like an oom pa pa, somebody might say. So you got three beats in a waltz. One, two, three. I'm doing a bass and a couple of brushes. So we'll try that for the D chord. The low string is the D note. And then for my A chord, I'm going to hit the third string over and over. The third string is an A note. The G, I'm going to hit the first string. And the A back to D brush for D. So you got the four brush for D. Brush, brush, A is the third string. Brush, brush. And then we have the G to A quick change. You can just do a brush and an A brush for a little drama. So I'm going to try it with my right hand doing some pattern there. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone?
with his tail cut short and his ears cut long. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Oh, that's pretty. I think we'll stop with just the back up there. Get the D, A, and G with a waltz pattern, just doing the thumb brush at first, but think of that one, two, three, one, two, three. And the first beat's kind of a strong beat. Sing that song, it's a little sad, but it's a beautiful song and it's been sung for a long time. So a good little warm up. And uh, we'll keep working on just getting better and better with our chords and the notes and, and our right hand and left hand. So you're doing a great job. Enjoy your banjos. Thanks a bunch.